Bitcoin has finally broken out above major levels on its price chart. In today's video, we are going to discuss the recent breakout levels to look for and what might be happening next in the chart. We're also going to check out the dollar index and how this will affect the Bitcoin price. So yesterday I made a video showing the Ikumoku cloud and showing that we have closed inside of the weekly cloud showing some strength that we can probably move to the $48,000 areas. Now Bitcoin overnight has pumped up and made a beautiful candle. This is on the weekly chart. What we have here is the Fibonacci retracement just to show the 50% of this range on the Logmirith MIG chart. And we are now above some very major levels that we will discuss. The 50% is a very vital area. We can see how it acted as resistance for previous levels over here and it acted as support back here before after the initial peak on Bitcoin. Not only that, we had this major breakout level that has acted as resistance at the 31,035 also said that we needed to see candles close in this level, above this level. We now have a weekly candle which is above it. There are still five days, almost six days left in this week, but this is a very strong candle. There is a bunch of a volume to also support this move. Volume is incredibly important. You need to see volume follow through with strong moves like this. Although the volume was larger last week, there's still a lot more to come. And th this is on a spot exchange by a um, bitstamp chart. I like to look at the spot chart to just get rid of some of the leverage noise. And on the daily, we can also see that this has been some of the highest volume that's been traded throughout this range, except for the resistances that we got through here. Now, this has been a fast move. Generally, the market does not like these fast moves. But what we want to see is we want to see this. Now, we've got the close already. This is now the confirmation candle forming here. It doesn't mean this can't go higher now. But what would be great to see is if this moves sideways and maybe even retests this 31,000 level. That is called the sign of strength in Wyckoff accumulation. If we go over to the indicators and we will just look on the RSI just to remove the volume, we can see that we are in extreme bought areas up here on the RSI. The momentum is very, very strong to the upside, currently sitting at 86. Doesn't mean it can't go higher. We haven't formed any bearish divergences on the daily chart on the shorter time frames on the four hour there's still no bearish divergences so just keep that in mind that this can in fact continue to go a little bit higher before topping out so all positive signs the most important thing at this point is we want this area to be defended to continue trending sideways at these areas and on the weekly chart let's just close the scandal uh, on the area that we are currently at, at least above the 31,000 area. This has been a fast move, as I said recently, but this bearish divergence currently has been invalidated, yes. Bearish divergence happens when price is moving higher, yet our momentum indicator, in this case is the RSI, is going lower. As it stands, this RSI is at 69.64 and the previous one was at 69.58. So we are currently still higher. This will depend on where the scandal closes. That's very important to look at for the close of this week. So hopefully we do have a bit more follow through throughout these levels for a little bit of a higher move. We do have a measured move. Um, from this W breakout if we move this measured move. Now this can take a quite a while to break out and I would like to remove the logarithmic chart and just do it on the linear because these lines aren't really as doing as well as 
on the log as on the linear. So this measured moves takes you all the way to 46, 232. This can take weeks and even months to play out. Maybe in a few days if the market um, is really, really bullish. Maybe there's some bullish news. But another thing that can give Bitcoin some headwinds, and we've talked about this on this channel previously as well, is the Dixie chart or the dollar strength, right? So this has now broken below these levels. We talked about this doji candle here as a, that's a topping candle. And this is on the weekly chart. There is no various divergences to speak of on the larger time frames. Maybe on the shorter time frames, we did have bearish divergence here as the price went higher, yet our indicator went lower. So we've now got that follow through and this is a pattern breakout. This is the opposite of a double bottom. This is called a double top or a M pattern. We can see our breakdown level is over there. We are now trading below it and we've made a new low. This is technically defined as a downtrend as you've got lower highs and lower lows. The RSI has fully broken down here now in the bullish, uh, the bearish control zone. So if this candle closes here and we get a confirmation candle the day after that below this 105.53 area, we have a measured move on this chart to the downside. So we can see as Bitcoin pumps, or we should actually say as this breaks down, Bitcoin breaks up. This measured moves takes you all the way to 103. This will be more headwinds for or tailwinds for Bitcoin pushing it even higher. And you can see other risk assets also catching a bit as this breaks down. This is good for the stock market as it's been selling down. And Bitcoin has been doing some pretty cool things with rallying while the stock market continues to sell down. On the daily here, we have bullish divergence for the S&P. As we can see, the indicator is higher, yet our price chart is lower. So that is good on the daily for the S&P. If you've watched this channel before, I've told you guys that single digit retracements in bull markets are very, very normal. And you don't tend to see double figure retracements at like 10% or above. So we're currently sitting at just about 9%. We can see a 9% retracement back here and an 8% retracement here. So I won't be surprised if we in fact reverse here with bullish divergences on the daily chart. Not only that, the dollar is breaking down. And the third one is the current downtrend on oil that we see as well. Oil topped out a few weeks ago with a doji candle on top of the price action as well. So if the oil continues, if US oil continues to sell down, that would be more tailwinds for Bitcoin pushing it higher and of course all of the other risk assets. Because when oil is expensive, everything that all products that need to be transported are more expensive as well. That uh, puts more pressure on inflation, pushing it higher. And so everything looks really, really good. Bitcoin has surprised many bears. Many of them are still calling for 12K. And this continues to move higher as they get capitulation and their stop stop um, losses get run and they need to buy back into the market. So do we see the 40k areas, the higher 40k areas, or do we consolidate here for a while? Eventually we will get to those levels. Maybe we just need a little bit of time to cool down at these areas. All of the indicators are quite high. But I only expect a retest of these breakout levels and not a breakdown to the bottom of the range, at least. At the worst case scenario, we revisit the base maybe later 
in 2024 or just before the halvening but um, it seems very unlikely at this stage of the bull market remember the bull market starts when you bottom that's generally how i perceive it not when you start breaking out of consolidation areas and not when you break the all-time highs because most of the gains would be out of these assets by then and the risk would be much higher with that being said thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video just for now and bye bye